everyone, today I'll be showing you how to paint this awesome last nail art that I'm absolutely in love with and yes, this is the third and last time that I'm doing this nail art because the first one was so gross but back then I thought it's pretty but then I thought that it's ugly so I redid it but now I wanted to make a tutorial for you guys and I'm so happy that I did because it came out perfect and way way better and Lost is my second favorite TV show if you were wondering Okay, so let's start with the bad numbers. Start with a black base on your thumb and, you know, do this pointy thing and these two dots and the numbers 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42 and honestly, I am truly sorry that the numbers tutorial suck and I wish that it wouldn't look so lame but what can I do? It's super hard for me to write on camera and it's really hard for me to feel my thumb so when you combine these two together, you can expect a shitty tutorial Okay, let's move on to my better tutorial. The next one is on the pointer finger, the drive shaft ring that Charlie had. Start with a medium dark nude base and paint the ring with grey by painting two squares on top of each other, but in different like angles, <laughs> like it's shown, and add two thick lines and one on each side. Outline the letters D and S with black and start shading it with shades of grey. I'm not going to explain how I did it because every tutorial that I have like shading and stuff I don't know how to explain it because I don't really know what I do so just go with it and have fun and just do stuff, I don't know. Outline the entire ring with black. Moving on to the Dharma Initiative logo on your middle finger. Start with a light light nude base and outline an octagon with black. Fill it in with white. Paint a large black circle in the middle. Next, you need to outline three inner octagons with black. Next, paint a thick white line coming from each corner and splitting the inner octagons into eight parts with three lines in each part. Next, you need to randomly split in half some of the lines with white. And lastly, write Dharma with white inside the circle. Moving on to the plane that splits into three, my fave. Start with a light blue base and create clouds with a small piece of a makeup sponge and white polish. Next, outline with black three broken parts of the plane going down. Fill in the plane with white. Shade the broken areas with black and different shades of grey. Shade the plane itself with greys. Add tiny broken pieces near the broken areas with dark grey and black. Add tiny windows to the plane with black and shade some more. Add orange to one of the pieces to create like a fire or something. And lastly, on the pinky, I guess that I couldn't find a better idea even after three freaking years. So I just paint a beach because, well, you know, they crashed on a beach. So I guess I can say that it's okay. 
Start with a light blue base and do a sky gradient with blue. It took me forever until I figured out the color so that's why it's not from the start and it doesn't have to be perfect on the tip because we'll cover that up. Paint over the tip with beige and detail it and shade it with different shades of beige. Create a waters white spray thing with white acrylic paint mixed with water. Create a palm tree by painting its stump, trunk, whatever with dark brown and make thin black horizontal lines on it. Paint his leaves, whatever, with the green by painting four lines and making some more small lines on them. Do the same thing on top of it with light green. When done, apply top coat to smooth out the surface and make your nails look perfect. And that is all and all that I can say is that practice does make perfect because I used to really suck as you can see but now I don't so if you feel like you're not that good just keep practicing and use acrylic paint on polish. Hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and all of you lost fans give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video, bye!